solving simultaneous equations using elimination method how do we solve simultaneous equations using elimination method now let us uh, consider the simultaneous equations given here equation one we have 3x plus y is equal to 11 so this is equation one so we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 19 so this is equation two so we want to solve these simultaneous equations using elimination method now in using the elimination method we have to decide which of the two variables uh, you want to eliminate you may decide to eliminate x you may decide to eliminate y you can eliminate any of the two variables now whatever variable you choose to eliminate you have to ensure that they have the same number before them neglecting the sign you have to ensure that they have the same number before them so that's the first important condition in using elimination uh, method now let's try to eliminate y here for instance like we said you must have the same number if you're eliminating y we have three here already you must have three here if you are eliminating y now so in order to eliminate y we multiply equation one by three we multiply all true all true all the terms there by three so doing that we're going to have 9x plus 3y is equal to 33. So this is our new equation 1. 3 times 3x, 9x. 3 times y, 3y. 3 times 11, 33. So we multiplied all through by 3. So this is our new equation 1. Equation 2 already has 3y, so you don't need to just leave equation 2 like that. So we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 19. So this is our equation 2. Now, to eliminate y now, eh? so the sign here, we have plus here, we have plus here. We need to introduce minus here. We need to introduce you know minus all through here. So that here becomes minus 2x, here becomes minus 3y, and here becomes minus 19. In other words, 9x minus 2x. So that is 7x. 3y minus 3y. So they cancel out. Then 13 minus 19. So that will give us 14. So from here we have we have 7x is equal to what? 14. Then we divide both sides by 7. So 7 will cancel 7. 7 here 1, 7 here 2. So therefore x is equal to 2 so now x is equal to 2 now so we can substitute this x is equal to 2 into any of the equations now, so, now let's substitute x is equal to 2 into equation 2 here so doing that we're going to have 2x plus 3y is equal to 19 so from here we're going to have 4, 2 times 2, 4, plus 3y is equal to 19. So from here, 
this four transfer it to the other side. So we're going to have three y is equal to nineteen minus four. Whenever you transfer a number from one side to the other, the sign changes. So four to this side becomes minus four. So we have three y is equal to nineteen minus four, that is fifteen. Then from here we divide both sides by three. Three we cancel three. 3 here 1, 3 here 1, so 3 here 1, 3 here 5, so therefore y is equal to 5, so x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 5, so let's take one more example, now let us consider this, this is another uh, simultaneous a set of simultaneous uh, equations. So equation one. So we have five x plus three y is equal to fourteen. Equation two we have three x minus two y is equal to minus three. So you have to decide which of the variables you are eliminating. Now if you observe very well, for y for y variable we have plus a, we have minus a. Any variable that has plus and minus, plus in one equation, minus in another equation, it's easier to eliminate such a variable. So here now it's easier to eliminate y. Now, to eliminate a variable like we said the other time, the variable must have the same number with them, neglecting the sign. Here we have 3, here we have 2. You can't eliminate them like this. So in order to have them having the same number, we need to multiply equation 1 all through by 2. Then we multiply equation 2 all through by, all through by 3. Why? Here we have 3, here we have 2. The 2 you have here, is what we are going to use to multiply all through here. Then the 3 we have here is what we are going to use to multiply all through here. So that's the way to go about it. If you are eliminating x, for instance, assuming you want to eliminate x, you multiply equation 1 all through by 3, then you multiply equation 2 all through by 5. But here we are eliminating uh, y, so that's why we have times 2 here all through times 3 here. Through. So now, our new equation 1 now, so we're going to have 2 times 5x, that is 10x, 2 times 3y, that is 6y, is equal to 2 times 14, so that is 28. So this is our new equation 1. Now our new equation 2 now, 3 times 3x. So that is 9x, 3 times minus 2y, so that is minus 6y. Now 3 times minus 3, so that is minus 9. So this is our new equation 2. So from here now, we eliminate uh, y. Here, unlike what we did in the first example, you don't need to introduce minus here again. Why? Because we have plus 6 minus 6 here. Plus 6y minus 6y, they cancel out automatically. So you don't need to introduce any minus here again. So plus 6y minus 6y, they cancel out. Now, the sign before 10x is plus. The sign before 9x is plus. So 10x plus 9x, so that will give us 19x. So here, 28 minus 9, so that will give us you know, 19. So here we have 19x is equal to you know, 19. So we divide both sides by 19. So 19 will cancel 19. 19 here 1. 19A1. So therefore, 
x is equal to 1. Now, in order to find x, now you substitute x is equal to 1 into any of the equations. Into any of them. Yeah. Now, let's substitute x is equal to 1 into equation 1 here from the onset. So, doing that, we're going to have 5x plus 3y is equal to 14. So, from here, we have 5 plus 3y is equal to 14. Now, this 5 transfer to the other side. So, we're going to have 3y is equal to 14 minus you know 5. Remember, whenever you transfer a number from one side to the other, the side changes. So, that's why we have a minus 5 here. So, 3y is equal to 14 minus 5, that is 9. Then from here, we divide both sides by 3. So, 3 will cancel 3. 3 here, 1. 3 here, 3. So, therefore, y is equal to 3. So, therefore, x is equal to 1. And y is equal to 3. So, so this is how we solve simultaneous equations using elimination method.